I'm Jillian here in the Tropicals Department. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about some of our favorite beginner house plants. If you are just thinking about getting into the house plant game, I want to show you some of the best plants to get started with that are fairly easy to care for. So first up we have our ZZ plant. This plant is just a really easy intro plant. So this one likes to dry out between waterings and it likes bright indirect light, but it can tolerate some lower light levels as well. So if you've got that corner in your house, you're not quite sure what to put there. This is gonna be a really great one to start out with. All right, so next up is a fan favorite, the Sansevieria or the snake plant. This one is like probably my favorite beginner house plant because they are hard to kill. You just don't want to overwater them. So these ones, you want to let them dry out. They're going to hold on to moisture in their leaves and also in their root systems. So you need to water them pretty seldomly, once a month with one this size, when you've got a larger one, sometimes only every three months or so. All right, so a next great beginner house plant is a succulent. A lot of you might be saying, oh, but I've killed succulents. You're not alone, that's totally okay. It happens to all of us. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about what will ensure your succulent's health in your house. So with succulents, um, you wanna make sure that they have lots and lots of sun. If you don't have a sunny window to put them in, succulents might not be the best choice for you. You might wanna think about one of those low light options. But if you give them lots of sun and then very little water, that's gonna be great for succulents. A way to know with succulents when they're ready for water is to actually just feel the leaves. If they feel like the consistency of your nose, then they are good, they're firm, they're holding on to moisture. But if they are kind of loose like your earlobe, a little bit floppy, then they might be ready for that drink. Another way to do that is just stick your finger as far as you can into the soil to check if they're ready. All right, if you love something flowering, I've got just the great plant for you. An orchid is a wonderful beginner flower to have in your home. These plants like bright indirect light, so they don't want to get the direct sunshine hitting them, but they are absolutely stunning. They send up these shoots and flower for you for uh, quite a few months of the year. So this one could be a wonderful addition to your plant collection. Another one that is probably my personal favorite as a beginner houseplant is the Dracaena. There are so many different varieties of Dracaena. Dragon trees, sometimes they're called, and they come in all shapes and sizes. So there's so many to pick out. These are also a plant that will tolerate lower light levels, especially this variety, the Janet Craig Dracaena. They like to dry out a little bit between waterings too, so you don't need to check them every day. A really great one to add and just stunning foliage. Next up, we've got peace lilies. Peace lilies are awesome. They are one, if you've been doing lots of gardening outside, this is kind of a good one to start with inside because they like to be kept a little bit moist, like some of your plants in the garden would. They also will droop when they're thirsty. They are very dramatic, which is helpful for you because it lets you know when they need water. So they'll perk right back up once you give them a drink. Another plant that we really love as a beginner house plant is the Tritiscantia, sometimes called the Wandering Dude. Um, these ones are great for bright indirect light and they will continue trailing down. They look really wonderful on a shelf um, and they like to dry out the top couple inches of soil between watering. So I water mine in my home about once a week, but you can just check that soil to know when yours is ready. Next up I have ferns. So ferns, I'd probably call them beginner to intermediate, but if you have a heavy hand with your watering, ferns could be a really great choice for you. Just make sure that your pot has really good drainage, and then you wanna do something to boost your ferns humidity. So if you've got a little mister bottle and you add some mist to them that way or do a pebble tray underneath, a fern could be your best friend. Next up we have the Chinese evergreens. These ones are a wonderful one for a lower light location in your home. They can do low light up to bright indirect light and they're gonna wanna dry out between waterings. They come with so many stunning foliages. So this one is a nice bushy leafy one to add to your collection. The last plant that I have for you today is the Chinese money tree. This plant likes bright indirect light and you wanna let the top couple of inches of soil dry out between waterings. That might be about once a week, but you just wanna stick your finger in the soil to check when it's ready. This plant's neat because it'll come either in a single stock form as well as a braided form, and it can grow quite quickly in your home in bright indirect light. So this one is a wonderful one to pick out as well. I hope we've given you some really great inspiration and some ideas of some plants that you could try out. Be brave, come on down to the store and pick out one of these plants. Our staff here love to help you answer any questions you have and just set you up for success with your plants. So we would love to see you here at Dutch Growers, Atridge and Central under the windmill.